Got, got over airborne. that inside curve. Got airborne. Yeah, that's that new curve on the inside. We've uh, we talked about that during the GTD session. It's a tenth in gymnastics for that. All the car bunny hopping up and the car pitching first to the right, then the left. He so nearly caught it. The reflexes of uh, a cat on energy drink almost got it back. But a heavy frontal impact and the door popping open. He hit the tire wall. And once he was back up to speed. Oh, and this is real trouble. There's a, there's a Penske prototype involved in this. Big oh. trouble at the bus stop. That prototype just almost clipped a car as he One pulled back out on the bus stop. Penske's so, in the tires. Well, there was Castro Neves and the 55 of Harry Tinknell. I think they're the two involved. Tinknell gets going again, and yes, it is Elio. Battle for position there. They're running third and fourth at the time. Castro Their Neves has gone. damage to the right rear. The wing is completely gone as well. Do the setup. Let's take another look here. 55 looking Ooh. up the inside of Castro Neves. That did not seem like it was fully on as Castro Neves goes for a ride in a hard. Into turn one right there. Yeah, it hit no, it hit concrete wall. It broke the front of the chassis, twisted it sideways, broke welds, tore the chassis, and it was unfixable. Always it's kind of frequency. Four, five, four. Oh, it's a big off for the Acura number yep. seven. Big off for Ricky Taylor, seemed to have lost the car very early, he's gone in nose first, destroyed the front, this I think will be a red flag, 2.45 to go, and that was going through the bus stop and lost it completely in the first part of the bus stop, car did not turn at all, now that he was very committed coming into the bus stop. Uh, don't pick a fight, wow. this early. Wow, that's the second time this week, the seven has gone into that wall. Ricky Taylor during qualifying at the end, and now his teammate Elio Castro Neves. So the seven team at Acura Team Penske has to go into rebuild mode again. Being able to see in their mirror, we've got a spinner. Two of them on the front stretch here, the 47 and the 23 have come spinning around the grass. Yep, they're in the grass right now, in the grass infield just before the start finish line. In and is this going to be our first caution of the race? Fastest section of the track. One of the cars is now heading for pit lane. How they would have spun, they must have made contact. Oh, that car's really damaged. Yeah, a lot of damage there. That's Significant the damage to the 23. and. Not exactly sure what happened. Two very experienced drivers, Alex Ribeiras in the 23, Eric Lux in the 47. Well, the caution came out. Let's take a look. This is the replay we have from Pit Road. And that is obviously after the contact. Yeah, that's so further mean. down the pit lane. Yeah. That, that's the start finish here. I don't know what he was doing. He drafted him right into the warm-up lane. Yeah. In, 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 into the pit I, entry. I think they were both coming in. NASCAR style. You saw the Corvette. Here comes a prototype in the mix with nowhere to go. Three wide into the bus stop. And we talked about the GTDs with the ABS analog brake system and being able oh, to dive car. it further car and in the through bus the stop. bus stop into the grass. Take a look at who it was. Looks like an Audi. That's the 88. Too much on the racetrack in a six-hour period. Here's the incident. Uh, Morat got on the inside of Keating and ran into the side of him and took them both off. It sent Keating off through the grass, and Morat did a half spin through the grass. So watch this. Dove in late. Keating turns in. Big contact there. Surprised there's not more damage than that, guys. Yeah, that was riding along with Morad. Here is Ben listen, Keating. Now. Listen to this. Keating may never see him. Drop of the green. The Mazda really putting pressure. We've seen that battle up front, and then the bus stop bites again. They call that in NASCAR when a guy door jams you. <laughs> that's not the chrome horn. That's getting door jammed. Well, it's interesting. We've seen a couple of incidents tonight with drivers who typically. Oh! Oh! And the Corvette gets taken out. Two cars around as they were getting ready to enter turn one. That's the three. He was running second. Quickly fires it back up. He's Pedro Lamy. The Martin Racing. Big draft here from the Corvette. Oh, they make contact in the brake zone. It was interesting. I was just talking to IMSA officials about the contact we've seen. 
typically the drivers that have been involved in this contact, there's not much more of an experienced driver out there than Pedro Lamy. When you look back through, he's a WEC champion. And oh, LMS, LMS he LMS hits the wall, the oh, pit wall, coming out on the pit speed limiter. So maybe there is more damage to that car because there's no reason for that car to slide into the pit wall. Drivers do the same thing. Here it is. But he's still on the limiter here. It doesn't matter. If the tire doesn't have grip, it doesn't matter that you're on the limiter. If he's hadn't gotten the mold release off that you watch Ryan Dial behind the wheel. He brought on Nicolas Lapierre. So much experience. Oh. 38 car. Cameron Castles behind the wheel. Finished second in the championship last year. This is the performance tech. All of the cosmetic parts and suspension, etc. But what happened here to Castles? Just runs deep. Just runs deep. Been out for a couple of laps. It wasn't his out lap. He'd had a couple of laps on this. Conica Minolta Cadillac and Mazda Team Yost. Let's go back to racing. End of the second full course caution. And look at that Mazda fly. That has been characteristic all this program long from the raw where Olivia Pla was flying and unofficially broke Jarvis's track record to the pole. We've got action further back. Yeah, just drama down there, deeper into the field. One of the Acura Team Penske machines, I think that's the number seven again in the war. To go. Uh, no, nobody he, hit him. Nobody touched him at all, no. Just got a little bit loose there under braking. Cold tires and just got caught out. Meanwhile, let's update you in GT. If they make a mistake, I can change the complexion of the race completely. Yeah, there's a lot of drive. Oh, got a Porsche we'll spin around. Black Swan Motorsports. Tim Pappas's car had a big accident in first practice session. It was looking. I mean, you want, oh, we got a spin right there. Just as I'm saying that, you know, you just, overall leaders. Overall yeah, leader. it was just. Of the number 16 digital panel kind of licking through there and there you get a better view through that rear Lamborghini engine cover and she wisely pulls off very quick slams on the brakes and once she gets out here super smart to go find the fire extinguisher external pole look at that and smoke this... inside the cockpit yeah so she's gonna get out here watch her go to the left front of the lower windshield and look for the external fire release. That's great heads up. She's probably still trying to troubleshoot.